Well, Kelly's Court is back in session on the docket today is Tonight Show host Jay Leno ripping off bits from Howard Stern's radio show. According to Stern, he is and he's been doing it for years. Stern tore into Leno after, after Jay used a chicken to make NFL picks on the Tonight Show. Seems Howard has used a chicken the same way for years, though he recently upgraded to a monkey. Now Stern is sending show clips to Leno to prove his point. So does the king of all media actually have a case, or do great minds just think alike sometimes? Let's ask our panel, Fox News legal analyst Arthur Idala and trial attorney Lee Armstrong. All right, guys, so Stern yes. claims that Leno has been ripping him off for years, not just with the chicken, but that when it comes to jaywalking, that he stole that from Howard Stern, who uh, would go out and interview uh, homeless people. He says, uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader has been ripping him off? Right. So Arthur, does Howard Stern have a decent point? Oh, you worded it. Awesomely, Judge. Yes, he has a decent point. Is it a lock stock case? Is it a case that I would take on a contingency, meaning I don't get paid unless he wins? Maybe not. However, once you get over the real essence of the copyright law, which is founded in the United States Constitution, so Howard Stern is being protected by our forefathers, saying that his ideas and the way he implements them are protected. All Howard has to do is send out a completed application to the Copyright Office about the chicken idea, about the man on the street idea, about all 10 ideas that he says Leno ripped off. And according to New York federal courts, once those are registered, he can then file against Chad Leno for copyright infringement because it's so close to what Howard has done, meaning chicken versus chicken, that he would prevail. Wait a minute, but Lee, it's aired on Stern's show. He has a copyright to it. Right. Well, now, what Arthur's saying to, uh, procedurally is actually right. He'd have to go and take the ministerial act of, of copywriting it. Look, I, <clears throat> I'm a Stern fan. I'm not a Leno fan. Having said that, if Stern were to come to me, I would tell him, save your time, save your money. This is, there's no claim here. I suspect he knows that because he would have brought something by now. Copyright law offers very little protection in cases like this. Ideas cannot be copyrighted. What can be copyrighted is the execution of the idea or how you follow through or implement the idea. There's a big difference. So let's look at an, look at an example. Idea. I'm going to make guests... Uh, play for their plugs, right? I'm going to make them work for an engaging conduct, and if they if it works out, I'm going to uh, allow them to plug whatever project that they have. What's Stern's execution? Stern's execution is adult stars spin the wheel of sex and ride a machine called the Sibian. Now, when I say Sibian, think of like a, a washing machine, but it's got that's all right. No explanation. One leg is missing, let, and, it, and it shakes. Hold it, it shakes a lot. Use use it shakes the chicken. A lot. Apparently, people are very happy but when they ride it. I don't know what it chicken. is. Use the chicken Hold as the example. Go ahead, Arthur. But, but it's the impl it's the implementation. Now, if Jay Leno has Tom Hanks. The chicken versus a chicken. Let me just finish. If Jay Leno has Tom Hanks ride the Sibian, two things will happen: ratings <laughs> through the roof. And, okay. and he's got a claim. Okay, here's the, Your Honor, ahead, Your Honor, here's the point. Lee is right on. It doesn't protect the ideas. It protects the, it protects the implementation of ideas. Howard's idea was it, a, a, an animal can as accurately pick who's going to win a football game as a human can. So he takes a chicken, he has the chicken peck on something and decide who's going to win that weekend. Right. And if, if Jay Leno took the idea oh, and no. said it's so random and took a dartboard and just threw darts on it, there would not be a claim because that's just an idea. Idea that's being implemented differently, but to use the exact way Howard Stern implements his idea on the Jay Leno show well, is a violation of copyright law. And not just that, not just that, Arthur, but Lee, you know, he, he's, he's upset about the jaywalking thing because he says he invented that with homeless people years right. ago. We've got a clip. Now watch. First watch what Jay does with jaywalking. Watch this. Okay. Okay, what country did you find the Panama Canal? China. Uh, who fiddled while Rome burned? Who fiddled? While Rome burned. Fiddled? Yeah. Fiddled with what? You ever call AAA? No, I don't drink. What is the biggest state in the Union? Texas. What country border the United States? The countries border the mm. United States? We border. You know, on each side. Australia? Of Australia. <laughs> and what else? Uh, we got Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's jaywalking. And then look what Stern was doing years before. What is 50% of 500? Uh -huh. What is 50? In other words, what is half of 500, right. basically? And this is the guy's answer. Uh, 50, uh, 50, 50, $500, 50%, 50, $50, no, $50, 500 $50. What is Seinfeld's first name? 
Will he know the name Jerry Seinfeld? It's, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Uh oh. <laughs> he does know something, this you know, guy. Lee? Yeah. Well, I like the latter one a little better, but I'll, I'll say this. Look, two points I have to make. One I don't know that I make. The Sibian shakes a lot. It really we could, shakes could just stay a lot. On point. No, num, number two, number two. It did. It does that not evidence that that Leno stole the idea from the, Stern? The idea. No. Okay. Let's let's assume that to be true. The idea. What's the idea? You ask people basic questions and they get it wrong. It's funny. Okay. What's the execution? For Jay Leno, he goes out. He doesn't ask homeless people. He doesn't have others wager on whether or not the person's going to know the answer. And he himself does the interview. Now, these are small variations, right? right. I agree with you that the DNA from Stern show is clearly there. It is, right? How, and it, not it just is, the DNA, but, but the staffer. The, but, that guy, Stuttering John, who used to be with Howard Stern for years, yeah, is now working things. for The Tonight Show. But, so doesn't he have anecdotal evidence that, that, that there's somebody funneling the ideas up the chain? And the other thing is, Judge, it, I would really focus on the chicken because it, it is not the idea. It is the implementation of the idea, and that implementation that a, a, an animal could, could pick a, a winning football team as well as a human, it's the exact same thing. It's even the yeah, same the animal. The, that is a clear violation of the United States ahead, Constitutional the chicken, Copyright Law. It's laws. a chicken. The chicken idea. Uh, yeah, I want to see what the damage is on that. Look, that, that, that example is a bad example because I don't even know that that's Stern's idea. I remember back in business school, they had chickens and monkeys picking stocks. It's the same exact sort, exact sort of concept, so I don't think that plays. The point is, in the execution and you know the refuge for all copyright scoundrels are in these little variances if you change the idea if you change it you're off the hook I didn't write the law that's what it is the idea can be stolen stole it if the execution is different there's no liability yeah well, the, a suit should be filed just to file just to just tell the world just hey, he I'm Howard TV. Stern I'm Howard Stern stop stealing my he ideas Jay, get your own uh, get your own ideas uh, the, the, the system of justice for comics is much more efficient than ours. It's to <laughs> excoriate and vilify, yeah. and that's what he's done. That's yeah. more cathartic, it's more efficient, it's precisely what he's great at, and it's what he's done here. Oh, Can't God. wait to see him tomorrow. You're scaring me. Arthur. Yeah, good luck on the Sibian. Lee, oh. thank you both so much. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. One final word for our viewers.